Hi there. Um, I'm Adoni Melithopoulos. I'm an assistant professor We're with the, uh, at, at, here at Oregon State University, and I'm with the Oregon Bee Atlas. I'm, this is a little video for you Atlas volunteers on how to get a bee into your killing jar uh, so that you can pin it up. So I've been walking around campus and I've discovered this really beautiful, I think it's some kind of currant bush. It's really covered with bees early in the morning. It's really the only plant that has bees on it. And I want to capture this record. So as you remember from your basic training, uh, each collection event on you know, plants of the same type in the same area are the same collection events. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my killing jar. Uh, here it is, and you, you know, there's a glass killing jar. Some of you have these plastic ones. But regardless, what I did to begin with is I have this little Avery label on the top of the jar, and I'm gonna start by writing the information on my jar. So it's the uh, 31st of March today and I'm I think this is some kind of current I'm gonna guess I'm gonna write on here current and this is my first it's first thing in the morning this is my first sampling event of the day so I'm gonna put on the top number one that's sampling ID number one the next plant I collect on will be number two and you can see it here I put that all on my label and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'll take my phone out. I use iNaturalist. You could use a notebook as well to record this event. So I get my phone out and I bring up iNaturalist. I get a close-up of the flower. I close up, I add that in, a close-up of the leaf, and I'm gonna stand back and get a close-up of the whole plant. And then I bring up, as you can know from previous video, I bring up all the fields in iNaturalist so that I can record this as sample event number one. Now it's time to catch my bee. I'm gonna do another video soon showing you how to charge up the killing jars, but I'll just mention right now, I've noticed that volunteers are not putting enough killing fluid in the, in the plaster of Paris at the bottom of the killing jar. Typically what you'll do is you'll be adding drops and drops and drops until it saturates. So there's a small little pool that doesn't absorb into the plaster of Paris. At that point, you'll let that evaporate off. You'll do this a couple of hours before you start. Uh, then uh, you'll put in your uh, tissue paper, the special tissue paper that your uh, team leads will have given you, and it'll look like this. You'll have a bit of uh, tissue paper in a jar like this, and you're really gonna keep this closed until you get the bees in, to keep the vapor in. Next step is getting the bee. So I'm gonna look around for a bee. Find one. And the trick here is I notice some volunteers are swinging way back here. And by the time they get to the bee, the bee's already disappeared. The trick here is you're going to try and get in close. You're going to be looking around for a bee that's flying. And then you're going to line your container up. So we're going to move over a little bit to another part of the bush. And there's one right now. I can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get very close to the mason bee. And then right at the end, you see, I'm going to be very aggressive. I was very aggressive and very fast. Uh, to get that bee in the net because uh, they would have flown it off. So I'll go over that motion in just a second, but now I've got the bee, hopefully, some luck, in here. I don't have the bee. Okay, try again. Take two. Right on that bush right there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in very close. I'm going to get very close to the flower, and then I'm going to swing. So. Uh, I now have the bee in my container. I'll go over the motion one, one more time, but let's go through everything to begin with. So I now have, as you can see, there's one bee there. And you see what I did? I'm just gonna go over this one more time, but I really have tried to cinch. You see, look where my hand is in relation to the net. I've really tried to, when I grasp the net, I've really tried to force the bee to the back of the net bag and then uh, kind of crimped it so that it's right up at the end. Notice I'm, the only place I'm holding on to the net currently is right here. I'm not holding on to anything else. So my other hand now is free. Yeah. Is when I caught the bee, I took the net bag, just, I'll just I'll hold my killing jar again. I took the net bag and I really swung like this very vigorously to force the bee back to, to the very back of my net bag. And at that point, what I do is I turn the net over like this and if I do this quickly enough, the bee, again, will be right, you can see it here, it's right in the top of my net bag, and I've crimped it very, very 
uh, close to the end. So I don't have a lot of room. I don't give a lot of room to sort of chase the bee down with my jar. It's everything's very tight, very close. It makes uh, this job very easy. So I'm gonna take my killing jar out of my pocket. We've already had the previous label. I know I'm collecting on this plant, which I, I may not be a current. Remember, I'm not a botanist. So I really rely on people to do my plant identifications later. I open up my killing jar and look, I put the killing jar lid in my hand and I put it in the palm of my hand. I've taken my uh, fourth finger there and I've clamped it down. I'm gonna take my killing jar now. So I've got the lid there, killing jar here. I'm gonna move it into the net bag. And one thing that people often get into trouble with is they've got this, they've clamped down the bag and they're really worried that the bee's gonna fly out. And so they try to force the killing jar through their fingers. Don't do that. Completely release on the bag at this point. Uh, the bee's not gonna get out. The bee's gonna tend to go upwards. And now what I've done, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position, you can see here, I'm gonna position the killing jar over where the bee is, and then I'm gonna clamp tightly. Look how tight that mesh is on the killing jar. There's no slack at all. The bee is now secure in the killing jar. I have to get the lid on now. A lot of people, what they do is they put the lid on here and then they're in trouble because they can't get their jar out. It's stuck on their net. Don't need to do that. What you're going to do is this tricky little maneuver. You're gonna take your lid. You're gonna move it into the net bag. So here it goes into the net bag. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, you see my thumb, look where my thumb is. I'm gonna take the lid and I'm just gonna put it down. Now notice everything is in the bag right now. If I was to, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab on two, I'm gonna let go of this hand and I'm gonna really suspend the killing jar in turn inside the bag. I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. You will at this point do something else, but let me just show you what this looks like. So I've really, I'm not, I've got one finger, my index finger on the top of the lid. I've got my other fingers suspending the jar and you can see there's mesh that I'm gonna to have to pull out. And that's what my last step is. I'm gonna take this mesh, I'm going to keep it clamped down. I'm gonna keep that lid clamped down. I'm gonna pull the mesh out like this. And then look, look here. I now have the bee in the jar and I can screw it down and I'm done. So let's go over some of the key things, key ideas here. When you line up your net, there's another bee right there. When, I, when you line up your net, well, let's do it right here. You line up your net, let's say your bee is right there. They're going to get right close to the flower. And from there, you're gonna catch the bee. Okay, that's step one. So let's catch the bee. And then you're gonna move your net back and forth to move it back in the net bag. At that point, as soon as you got it in there and you're really forced into the back of the net bag, you're gonna kink over your net like this and then grab very tight up. You're not gonna grab your net all here because it's just way too much bag and it's gonna flip over. You're gonna catch your bag really up towards the top. You're gonna then move your killing jar in. Uh, we got a killing jar here, got a killing jar. You'll move your killing jar into the, into the bag You'll release here at the neck. You'll get your bee, you'll make it taut. You then move your, contain your um, lid back in. You're gonna clamp it with your forefinger there. You're gonna pull all this bag out and you're done, you've got your bee. Hope that was instructive. If you have any questions, please email us. Uh, uh, we're always happy to get new ideas for things that you're having trouble with. Uh, good luck out there catching some bees.